Hello, and this is the No Face Movement. We're breaking news that is shattering. Um, I'm giving permission to every single buddy out there to download this uh, video and upload it to your channel. As I know, this video is going to be deleted as fast as possible. Um, but just keep downloading, uploading it. Um, it's about to shatter the world. This is the truth. Alright, this is Google Mind Control and zombie apocalypse and what's really going on even CERN's involved here folks um, but before we get into that um, you can also see this on Mystique's channel it's gonna be called something totally different it's gonna be called Ingress Review because it's technology and everyone should know about what's really going on so let's I did a review ready on Ingress somewhat but now I did a deeper research in the mind control in a demon possession in the portals that they're opening up and hacking into your brain and this is the truth and I did a lot of research and um, it all tied in and thanks to Dan Sun for the last article he sent me a couple articles on mind control and harp it all ties in folks um, the zombie apocalypse is the blue beam project alright it's gonna seem like it's out of this world and they're gonna use it and it is really out of this world but they can't control it alright um, it is terraforming of the earth it is the thing, it is really a zombie apocalypse when someone hacks into your brain. It's pretty deep. Let's get to the video. Let's get to Ingress. It's a game. This is the first game that is free. That's probably millions of dollars. It's the first game that you ain't got to pay nothing to upgrade your skills or nothing like that. And they use the real Google map. And on top of that, they're using the Google map to terraform their satellites to in houses and all that to map it out let's get started The right. project. Let's reverse this. Sorry, folks. My more in depth look at this, give you more update. I could only make this really short. But it says, Feel the person's interest. I heard the file and names the people. So they're also, once you download this game, it's free. You gotta get an invitation. Alright, and you gotta be someone probably they're worthy looking into, alright, before it comes available to everyone. And it says right here, feel the person's interest. That's not a game. I actually our take over the mind. Culture found in our cities is based on design seated in the human mind. Places. You just hear that? Energy. Based on the uh, design, because you got to really go to places like statues, uh, the landmarks, and stuff like that. And a lot of stuff happens there, right? Not only attracts people, but attracts events. Attract events. The mission of 13 Magnus is to monitor the effects of mind hacking. Mind hacking. Obviously, this will be done with the highest of security to make sure that the ideas do not contaminate or threaten humanity. This all leads to Niantic. I know that many tools will be needed to fight this battle. You just have to know where to look and know what you're seeing. Portals and exotic matter into our world. Exotic matter. Certain effects on our world. I started noticing that there were energy anomalies on Earth all around me. A few of them exhibit properties that are as yet. Unexplained. I know that there are others out there. What if they're already among us, but we don't realize it? I must be prepared to work with them or fight them. They are coming. Something's wrong out there in the world. This doesn't feel like a scientific study. The one who lies in understanding what happened to Niantic. Not all mysteries are solvable, but the joy comes in the pursuit. 
And that's the game. And even when you, I'm gonna have other videos. It's not done by me, but Mystique, because she did a review of the game. And it even tells you it's not a game. You don't have to pay money, it's free. Alright, as soon as you. It's by invitation only. Yeah, it's by yeah. invitation only. So let's get, they said exotic matter. So let's go to exotic matter. Exotic matter is for real, it's not fake. Alright, read. Exotic matter. In physics, exotic matter is a term which refers to matter which would somehow deviate from the norm and have exotic properties. There are several uses of the term. Hypothetical particles, which have exotic physical properties that would violate known laws of physics, such as a particle having a negative mass. Hypothetical particles, which have not yet been encountered, such as exotic baryons, but whose properties would be within the realm of mainstream physics if found to exist. Futurist Ray Kurzweil has speculated that by the end of the 21st century, it may be possible by using Film 2 technology. And remember, Film 2 technology, it's in the game, they tell you. To create new chemical elements composed of exotic baryons that would eventually constitute a new periodic table of elements in which the elements would have completely different properties than the regular chemical elements. States of matter, which are not commonly encountered, such as Bose-Einstein condensates and quark-gluon plasma, but whose properties are perfectly within the realm of mainstream physics. States of matter, which are poorly understood, such as dark matter. Now, in the game, they tell you, they, the Google game gives you the phone. Now, let's go into imaginary masses. That's what you're collecting. Imaginary mass. A hypothetical particle with imaginary rest mass would always travel faster than the speed of light. Such particles are called tachyons. There is no confirmed existence of tachyons. If the rest mass is imaginary, this implies that the denominator is imaginary since the total energy is not observable and thus must be real. Therefore, the quantity under the square root must be negative, which can only happen if V is greater than C. As noted by Gregory Benford, among others, special relativity implies that tachyons, if they existed, could be used to communicate backwards in time. Since time travel is considered to be non-physical, tachyons are believed by physicists either to not exist or else to be incapable of interacting with normal matter. In quantum field theory, imaginary mass would induce tachyon condensation. All right. They say it's in theory, but this is the proof in the pudding. You gotta also read negative mass. Um, I think I'm gonna probably have part two to this. <laughs> um, read on. Negative mass. Negative mass would possess some strange properties, such as accelerating in the direction opposite of applied force. For example. An object with negative inertial mass and positive electric charge would accelerate away from objects with negative charge and towards objects with positive charge, the opposite of the normal rule that light charges repel and opposite charges attract. This behavior can produce bizarre results. For instance, a gas containing a mixture of positive and negative matter particles will have the positive matter portion increase in temperature without bond, bound. However, the negative matter portion gains negative temperature at the same rate, again balancing out. Despite being completely inconsistent with a common sense approach and the expected behavior of normal matter, negative mass is completely mathematically consistent and introduces no violation of conservation of momentum or energy. It is used in certain speculative theories such as on the construction of wormholes. The closest known real representative of such exotic matter is the region of pseudo-negative pressure density produced by the Casimir effect. Alright, now we know exotic matter is real because they have a weaker on it. It's not just that. 
All right. Ingress, they tell you about exotic matter, and this is what you got to collect is this exotic matter. And the only way to collect it is by Fem2 technology. All right. Um, I'm going to explain that in part two because this is breaking news. This is earth shattering. All right. Um, CERN. I'm going to have a link to the one video of that NASA scientist that says that uh, interdimensional beings or what really are aliens or what I call is the fallen demon possession hack through certain uh, radio waves. And the only way they get into these radio waves is by femto technology. Alright. Um, this NASA scientist has passed away. Rest in peace. And um, I'm here to carry on this legacy of what's really happening. This is one reason why there's zombie apocalypse. Please continue to part two, because we're just on the surface.